Buenos dias, good morning. I want you guys to see this really quick. Here we have some, uh, don't look vegans, don't look. You guys will see this, all right? We got fresh, fresh carne asada. Oh my gosh, man, look at this. Delicious, man. All right, let me cook some eggs up as well. I got the cormal. Pan dulce. Some cheese. And we're right here on uh, the beach in Pacific City, Oregon. It's beautiful out here. It's Saturday morning. So I'm filming this by hand and I got the caffeine shakes. So just figured I'd walk you guys through kind of what what the setup looks like and uh, yeah enjoy the video they used Coleman camping stove right cooler it's a Yeti knockoff we got tools in the back I'm a mobile RV technician so I will repair all the systems in an RV minus ordering parts I don't have that down yet but I got tools and then a giant Milwaukee pack out box this is kind of cool it's got a little lever it sticks up and I just bought this used the other day and game changer. I could put all the stuff that I don't want to keep in my car back here. Still look professional because it's a toolbox, right? Got my clothes packed away right in here. Um, I try to keep it organized and folded. Computer bag. Got the sombrero, of course, need that. Got the junk glass ready to go. I went to In-N-Out yesterday, it was great. I got an EcoFlow, I forgot what model it is, but yeah, it's enough wattage to power my espresso machine right here. And then I built out this box uh, with a hinge. This keeps all of my pantry, kitchen utensils. Got a water bottle and five gallon water jug with a USB chargeable dispenser. And then I keep my cooler back there uh, but some notable things happened. The cooler got the seat wet and it started to mold. Let's go ahead and flip this bad boy real quick. I'm not gonna cook all of this. I don't have any storage at the moment for that. So I'm just gonna cook this one piece for breakfast. Dude, smells amazing. I got little things, you know, like knife set from REI. I sliced my fingers on it the other day. They're pretty good knives. But yeah, I got a ladder, full-size propane tank, a conversion hose. Um, I will use that, but uh, I'm just trying to get rid of this last mini propane tank that I got. And then uh, let's show you back here. Currently, I do have a passenger I learned the other day. So once I catch this uh, mouse, yeah, that's right. We found a mouse in the, in the car. I picked him up somewhere in Eastern Washington. And uh, this guy has been riding along, has yet to even enjoy the peanut butter that I've conveniently placed in there for him. But I put down some traps, put down uh, <laughs> some sticky pads. And uh, currently I have a name for him because he's uh, in Spanish is Ratero, the cowboy is vaquero so it's ratero vaquero uh yeah but he's my cowboy mouse because he's just having the trip of a lifetime in there and uh yeah shout out to my girl in oaxaca for giving me the name because uh it makes it a little bit more enjoyable knowing you're living in your car and you got a, a mouse in there so but i'll kill him sooner or later and then up top we have two Harbor Freight truck racks, uh, minus one, so one and a half Harbor Freight truck racks. So I mounted them, kind of centered on the bed. I only have a five foot bed on this Frontier, it's really short. And then I have a James Baroud Evo tent. I forget what the, the Evo stands for. And then I have another James Baroud awning. This one's actually new, but I bought it used, which is pretty sweet. Total uh, was, Shoot, how much was it? I think I spent $1,600 used and like five grand to buy this stuff new. So, totally worth it. Uh, some of the things that I want to get, you know, some, some more lighting would be nice right up here. And 
solar panel to charge the EcoFlow when I'm on the road. Currently I do work full time in Tacoma, Washington, but on the weekends I try not to stay in parking lots. I like to go explore a little bit. So a hundred bucks in gas to go cook on the beach like this, totally worth it. But I am really enjoying this uh, so far. Some nights it, it does suck sleeping in a tent, like when it's cold or when you know I'm in the city and there's not a whole lot of nice places, but thankfully work is like, hey, crash in the, in the yard, it's fine. Um, you know, so I try not to overstay my welcome at work, but I just have to wake up really early and it's kind of a pain in the butt to do that. But when I get to sleep in, in the forest, like I did this morning, and there was no service, it was just peaceful, it's, it's awesome. Um, and a lot, a lot more comfortable because on the ground, you feel so much more exposed, but like I had no service, I was in the middle of the forest and I don't know, usually I'd be a little hesitant to just go out in the middle of nowhere like that and camp, but with this, it's like, I feel so much more comfortable because I'm always outside, I'm always in the tent, so it kind of feels normal to me. And then it doesn't matter what's around me, I just have a little house up there basically and it's, it's pretty sweet. But yeah, guys, I will have some more videos. We're gonna do some more mobile RV technician videos where I'm fixing RVs and helping nomads on the road. And then some videos of myself being a nomad as well. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome, bienvenidos. I'm gonna start including some more Spanish in my videos too. Hopefully, if I can communicate in Spanish decently, you know, I'll try. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. I just wanted to pop in and say what's up.